Well, 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 the Knicks suck again. Oh no! We suck again! Take note! Big Beach! We're here. I'm at Alex's. It's different this time. What's new? I feel like we are a record player, a record player, see my reference, on repeat. <sighs> I feel like we are saying the same thing over and over. Well, we haven't been saying anything. Oh yeah, we haven't been saying, we haven't even been Welcome. here. We haven't been here. Hi guys. We followed, we followed every game, we've not even been here. I know. We have nothing to say, that's why, because the team sucks. Oh, I don't and, have a lot to say. We were, we're, yeah, yeah, I have a lot. You know what, of course we have a lot to say, that's why, yeah. that's why, we're, that's why we're recording, right? Because we do have a lot to say. <laughs> Here's the thing. The team sucks, I hate even saying that because I don't actually feel that the team sucks. I feel that a lot of this has to do with management and front of house or front office people. Front of house, there's my restaurant reference. But we individually, I think, have good players on the team, yep. right? However, they're not being managed properly. And I think when you start to look inside, you look at these guys, Leon Rose and William Wesley, it's their first time in this position. And I think that they don't actually know how to manage the team properly. Woo! And that's why we're seeing what we're seeing right now. Okay, that's a bit of a hot take. I would agree with the fact that, I don't know if I am. Okay, so Leon Rose comes in. He brings in the experience of being, you know, a former agent. And we see some positive things early. Some of the draft stuff we've done is nice. I will say after two years kind of of waiting, like, oh, this is going to be the move. They're going to do something big. And we kind of haven't done anything yet. Um, it does kind of feel like, and I don't want to rush the process. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be a process. The reason we failed before as a franchise is because we rushed the process. Mm -hmm. But I kind of do feel after this trade deadline and now they shut down Kemba, which makes sense, yes, but when you think of like the whole season, should it have happened earlier, like it did, should it have stayed, should it have been a trade, should more have happened. And it does feel like itchy trigger finger, right? They're taking a little bit, a little bit too patient, but this also ties into tips because right. we're seeing second season syndrome with Tom Thibodeau. First season, he comes in, wherever he goes, he's such a hard ass, he's such a tough nosed person. Players By respect default, him. You, you follow they, it. If you, guys, for him. if you guys follow soccer or football, uh, Jose Mourinho. Same thing in football with Chelsea, now with Roma. Same kind of idea where he comes in and he's really tough in the first season and a lot of times you see the team respond well to that. Mm -hmm. But then that kind of constant droning on doesn't really work the same in season two. If someone's always at a 10 in terms of their anger or in terms of how they're expressing themselves, right. uh, you can, there's no level to jump to, right? Right, right, right. Um, now, you know, that gets into personality stuff. We're not in the huddle, but it definitely is something off about this team. I think, like you said, the players make not full sense, but there's a lot of good talent. Right. We need a direction as a franchise. Last year, in a way, messed us up because it wasn't supposed to happen. Right. It happened, and then the direction was like, oh, let's just keep it going. But this year kind of reveals that while last year was good, and I do think for the franchise, it was good for us to kind of watch that off our backs. Right. Be clean, have a good season, have a fun season. This summer coming up, a lot of questions need to be answered. And the rest of the season, a lot of questions need to be answered. And then you see today that they're going for the play-in. Which <laughs> I feel like we have no plan. I feel like the team has <laughs> no concrete plan. They don't know what they're doing. And at the very least, this is where I feel like a broken record. At the very least, all I want to see them do at this point, at this point in the in the season, yep. just let the young guys play. Are the young guys <sighs> not our future? Are we not building the team? Isn't it RJ and Randall? And quickly, mm -hmm. and I know you're going to say that about Randall, but mm -hmm. here's the thing. Right now, it is yeah, yeah. Randall. Right in terms now, of what you play. Right yeah. now, Randall was And Randall's paid, been was, better recently, too. Randall was paid the big money. He was paid the big, he got the big contract. Yep. So it's supposed to be Randall. If you decide to trade him, fine. I'm all for that. But right now, those are the guys that's that are fair, supposed to fair. be on the team, right? Yep. So as much as I really like Burks, and I really like Derek Rose, and I know that when Derek Rose comes back, he's going to help us to win games. <sighs> I know that. I know, yeah. But these older guys, these guys that are in their early 30s, they, they are not the future of the team. So why even let them play? Let the young guys that we have right now play. Let them gel together as a team with the RJs, with um, with Julius. So we can with see Mitch, what's... Obi, with, with, quickly, Mitch, with Mitch, with Mitch, Obi, and Quickly. Yep. So we can see what... Oh, Grimes, sorry. I forgot about him. Love I don't know how I forgot yeah. about him. But let's let these young guys all play so we can see what the team looks like. Don't give us a piece of a team with some old guys, some new guys. <laughs> the new guys are not getting any experience to play. At the very least, here's what happens. Scenario A, the young guys play, 
they get the experience of playing, right? They get to play together as a team. We lose every game. I don't care because if we lose every game, at least these guys are learning how to play and at least we're seeing what the product is, right? We don't play well, we lose games, we get a decent trick, we get a decent person in the um, in the draft, right? right? On the flip side, if they get together and they play well, then great, that's good too. Thank it's you. a win-win situation. So I don't understand why are we not letting the young guys play? Let <laughs> the young guys play. That's the team. That I is the team. That's the team you put together. I don't get it. Talk on it. Here's a funny thing, and I love that you brought that up. You brought up a scenario, right? Either they play well and we win, and then it's like, oh, crap, wow, okay, great, right. love it. Or they play well and we lose, and it's like, oh, whatever. But the, you, see the you know what we're doing? We're playing the old guys and losing anyway. <laughs> and the losses. Let's just talk about this uh, for a hot well, second. Well, we got a bit of the Brooklyn game. We were there, and oh, boy. The losses, when we have that 20-something point lead, are ridiculous. I don't watch all of basketball or a lot of other basketball, but I do not think that other teams do that. I don't think that other teams come in with a 27, 25 point lead or even 18 points in the beginning of the fourth quarter and lose. How do you lose that? Consistently. How, how do you consistently four games in a row? They did that. Or maybe not. I think maybe it was like five out of seven. No, I think it was five out of seven games. But how do you do that yeah. consistently? How do you not change when it happens the first time? Right. <laughs> and you have to be pissed and so upset at yourself. The entire franchise has to be so upset with themselves that how do we lose this big lead? Yep. Don't you then go to the drawing board and say, OK, this can't happen again. This is what we have to do. It's almost like they get Our the drawing board point. is an etch a sketch. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it gets erased, so we forget yeah, what happened. Yeah, that's our drawing board. Uh, yeah, sorry, continue. Um, <laughs> so the thing is, like, when that happens, you have to go to the drawing board and set up a new plan, right? Because this should not happen again and again. How are we going into the fourth quarter, sitting in our laurels, like, oh, okay, yeah, we're good with. No, we're not good with the lead. No, we are not good with the lead. If you have that lead, you have to maintain that lead. The other team should never be able to catch up to you and get within a 10 point spread ever. The, listen, these coaches are telling them when we're down, when they're down early to the Knicks and things are great and there's high fives. They're like, yeah, okay, don't we're worry fine. about it. We're going to make our run. The NBA is a game of runs. Since the three point revolution, leads don't mean anything anymore. That Brooklyn game really summed up the season. Amazing, amazing start. We're there. We'll show some clips now so you guys can see. But we knew it. Even when it slipped a little bit and it didn't really slip, we were like, look, it's going to happen. We could, we could feel it. And then just the fourth quarter and that meltdown was disgusting. That was despicable. That actually, that genuinely felt embarrassing at the garden, listening to Brooklyn chants. Oh my goodness. Brooklyn yeah. fans are talking, I don't want to curse, but talking shit. And we are there and guess what? We can't say anything back. The Knicks fans didn't even have the energy to fight back. They're telling us we're garbage. We're like, we we're know. Like, we're like, yeah, we know. So it, it, it's, it's such a, and you know what? I don't want to go doom and gloom because if you look at the franchise, this is nothing like the past where we were under tons of heavy contracts. We couldn't make a move, bad decision. I don't think we're in that situation anymore. Though I do think we're just kind of an average team now. Yes, we've probably, we, we've crawled out of the gutter, which is great. And I want to give credit to that. Mm -hmm. But now that we're at a different level, I feel, now you need to kind of build from there. Um, I don't think Kemba and Fournier were the worst bets. Fournier's been decent Fournier, recently. Right? He has. I, the Kemba thing is, you know, it, it didn't work out. They're about to shut him down for the season. It was like $9 million a year. Low, low, low risk, low reward. Right? Low risk, low ish risk. It didn't right. work out, but I'm not upset at that. It didn't kill you for years. But as of right now, like you said, build for the future. Focus on the future. If anything, Leon Rose has to be looking at this saying, okay, look, what happened last year happened last year clearly didn't carry over. Nerlens Noel has been absolutely nothing this season. Mitch has been doing great. Let's re-sign Mitch now. I think he's earned it. Yep. RJ has shown a lot of signs. Tibbs ran him into the ground. There's more stuff to talk about there. But I just feel like rebuild a little bit. Do a couple tweaks. Think about what we're doing and make a real decision forward. Take a step back to take a step forward. And hopefully you see that in the second half of the season. I think that Leon Rose, and I said this from before, Leon Rose brought his friends aboard, right? <laughs> because that everyone's working together that worked together before. That, that, that's, yeah. that, that's the front office. Scott Perry's there, who's just been there forever. Like he's, he's, he's like a statue, he's a statue there <laughs> in the wall. He's still there. And it's like, I just really feel there's no game plan. I really feel when these things, when the trade deadline is happening and nothing, and we're not seeing I know. any movement. You should see the memes. It's like. There's all these memes oh, of Leon Rose sleeping and they're like. It's like, <laughs> okay, like. We didn't make uh, a plan. Was there a plan? Or was, was there a plan? And I don't know if it's overthinking. You know, we'll see. As of right now, we play Miami tomorrow. Mm. But 
We gotta finish off the season and see where the franchise goes from here. We will be back with more videos during the second half of the season for the 15th time I'm promising something that we haven't lived up to. But thank you guys for rocking with us. Happy to be back. At least talking this. Let us know your comments. What do you think? Like I said, it's not been, it's not been good. No and, one I, and, I'm, and I'm it. upset. Like and I'm have, upset. I'm genuinely and upset. upset. <laughs> and we're dealing with expectations now. Obviously, we've had worse seasons in the past, but there are expectations based on what happened last year. But it's not the end of the world. The Knicks, as a franchise, have a lot of opportunities to shake things up. And let's start doing that and let's commit to a direction. Hopefully, as a franchise. Peace. Go Knicks.